I'm Joe Morgenstern, The Wall Street Journal's movie critic, and I must say I'm in an enthusiastic mode. I'm reviewing The Descendants. No, I can't say I do. This is Alexander Payne's movie with George Clooney in a starring role, except it's not a starring role. I mean, he's, he's in, in the most wonderful, self-effacing way, part of an ensemble that reminds you, if you remember Alexander Payne sideways seven years ago, which was the, the quintessence of an ensemble film. This is much of the same thing, except deeper, warmer, much more ambitious. And as far as I'm concerned, the year isn't young, but it's not over. At this point, it's by far the best movie of the year, and Clooney's performance has no parallel as far as I've seen. Dad, this is uh, Sid. Oh, Sid. Set, bro? George Clooney is a protean actor. He can be serious, he can be rueful, he can be thoughtful, but he can also be very funny. I mean, he is funny. He, he has great comic timing and a, a sense of himself. And that works to wonderful advantage in the movie because he's able to play against the underlying seriousness of the theme, but doesn't play so well in uh, the making of the trailer. Because there's a scene in the trailer that by now everyone who has seen it remembers it, of Clooney doing a, a sort of a funny duck walk and flip flops. I think the people who made the trailer in their effort to figure out the movie and then help sell it, grabbed at that um, sequence. And out of context, it looks, looks like a little dumb duck walk and flip flops. It's more than that, but. Sid's not gonna be interested in meeting your grandparents. He's gonna be bored stiff. Dad, I told you that he was gonna be with me. I'll be a lot more civil with him around. The movie's about family. It's also about real estate, but real estate in a much deeper sense than we're accustomed to dealing with. This isn't just buying and selling. This is about a, a family with roots in 19th century Hawaii, deciding, actually it's the decision of the character played by George Clooney, Matt King, deciding whether to sell 25,000 pristine acres on Maui, acres that should be protected, but the question is, can they be? I thought you were supposed to be getting your act together. I've been doing really well, actually. Nobody ever seems to notice that. This film is very much the work of the man, Alexander Payne, who did Sideways seven years ago. It has an organic feel. It has scenes that don't feel like scenes. I, I don't feel I'm watching scenes. I feel like I'm watching people bump into each other and start to say one thing and then say another. A real good job you're doing. That's part of why I brought you here. You have to help me with her. I don't know what to do with her. Maybe if you spent more time with her, she wouldn't act like such a complete spaz. We who loved Sideways, and I think that's a pretty big club, had gotten pretty worried about seven years before Payne did another feature film. Would he be up to it? Would the second one, would the new one be worthy of its illustrious predecessor? All I can tell you is don't worry, it's okay. All of this enthusiasm is fine and heartfelt, but it is by way of getting you to read this week's column. I'm Joe Morgenstern, the film critic of The Wall Street Journal.